that's happened in the past week. Nothing's really happened in the past week, but everything's kind of happened in the past week. In the past week, we've basically found out that United, as much as they want to, you know, make it seem as if um, we are trying to close the gap to Man City, we're trying to compete with the other clubs in the top four and trying to win all the big trophies out there. We're not really about this life. We don't really care, right? I think we should have kind of got an inkling or an idea as to how the club basically views us or their owners basically view us the Glazers by their kind of failed coup or their failed kind of, you know, attempt to try and join the European Super League. That should have really given us all the indication as to what was really going on there because you would be, you would imagine, right, if they really believed they only got a soul strike and they really thought this experiment and this way that we're going forward with the cultural reset, if this was really the great hope for us kind of retaining or going back to our level where we were previously and, you know, maybe winning a league title sometime soon, maybe winning a couple of more domestic titles and maybe winning and competing for the Europe, for the Champions League, you would have assumed that they would kind of, you know, back up the Brinks truck and give Oli everything he wanted in terms of us getting back up there but they haven't right we haven't we, we've been hearing these protracted rumors about Jaden Sancho now it's going to enter a whole different bit of drama with him similar to what happened last season most likely we'll definitely end up with Jaden Sancho I'm not really you know doubting that I think there's just too much media um, potential and branding and commercial money tied up in him for United not to do that deal I think whatever they spend on Jaden Sancho they will get back in a couple of seasons in terms of shirt sponsors in terms of shirt sales in terms of just him being a little bit of a you know social media maven in that regard so if they spend upwards of 90 million on him they will definitely see that as a good investment especially if they can get five good seasons out of him regardless of who's in charge but in terms of actually rebuilding the squad or adding to it in order for us to compete because imagine you know some fans out there generally think we're the second best team in the country and I don't think that's necessarily true I think we kind of finished there by proxy you know Chelsea had a bit of a poor season they basically had Frank Lampard who was a novice manager for half of the season he got sacked and then basically Thomas Tuchel has basically brought them back up to where they kind of should be maybe a little bit above us but you know and then Liverpool obviously imploded due to their injury um, catastrophe so second is a bit of a false position in my head but some United fans out there truly believe that we're the second best team in the country if that's the case we're gonna need a few more players in order to kind of close what was it 18 points or whatever it was between us and Man City so as much as we were second we weren't really second you know close to the league champions we were second maybe best of the bad bunch right best of the rest sort of thing but that aside you'll just imagine that there'll be a little bit more owners of a little bit more importance put towards the signing of players and getting us back to where we should be because at the moment it just feels like for some reason fans alike and maybe people in the club generally think if we get Jaden Sancho that's going to be enough and I don't necessarily think it is we need more than that we need a defensive midfielder we need possibly another right back to compete or to take the position of Aaron Wan-Bissaka right we need those players probably more so than we probably need a Jaden Sancho we could probably get away with having the same attacking lineup but with the inclusion of maybe an actual high quality center back to compete or to kind of challenge for the position that Maguire's got even who cares a right back to kind of compete and take the spot maybe eventually of Aaron Bissaka in terms of being able to be a little bit more comfortable on the ball more more attacking and technical ability on the ball wherever that may be and then an actual deep lining centre midfielder who can play DM on his own without having somebody else next to him so we can do away with a double pivot that would then free us up to play a more you know midfielders in midfield with maybe one deep lining playmaker there that would take us a long way in terms of bridging the gap as opposed to just signing Jaden Sancho but again this club and the way it's all set up is just bizarre the Jaden Sancho affair, the transfer saga is going to rumble on and on. For some reason, we've hired a football director in John Murto and, and he's assistant in Darren Fletcher who, you know, have the combined European contact list of, I don't know, an amateur, right? I've never really been seeing them be mentioned in the sort of same sentences as some of the other big glitzy directors of football out there. But who knows? Maybe we don't really know what actually goes on with their job day to day. But you'd imagine if we hired a director of football, that our transfers would be a lot more smoother, right? The way we'd maybe approach players, identify players, get the deals done, 
there would be some sort of difference you could tell but so far i've not seen any difference i've seen loads of information getting leaked to the press i saw recently another journalist come out and say oh supposedly we're not being linked we haven't directly spoken to Borussia dortmund regarding um Jaden sancho which means maybe we're using an intermediary maybe we haven't actually spoken to him in general we're just waiting for the perfect time i don't know when the perfect time is because you know you don't exactly want Jaden sancho to go to the euros tear it up play completely you know out of his skin amazing be one of the best England players out there and then for his price to increase further or for the competition for his signature to increase you know by the, you know by a considerable amount because as much as we're getting the indication that he generally desperately wants to come back to England and his heart is set on playing for Man United you know if another big club comes in for him which he could easily play for a Real Madrid if they're trying to you know maybe rebuild their team even the PSG whoever it may be you could definitely see him going there as well it doesn't necessarily mean we're the only you know high value destination that he's going to have access to especially if he plays well in the Euros so I don't know man football's kind of bumming me out being United fans bumming me out um, watching England's going to be bumming me out during the Euros as well it's just a whole 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 